That's our clock. <clears throat> this is my clock. There you go. Good. 216, what are we trying for? 30. Ready? Everybody's smiling. I think we're smiling. Do you want this chair closer Yay. to the desk and then come in? There we go. Happy. This is happy. the Happy Happy Show. <laughs> All right, guys, happy. somebody give us a countdown. Show number 67, Austin. This is the What's Neat This Week, show number 67, and today we're broadcasting from beautiful Denver, Colorado at the Rocky Mountain Train Show. I've got my regular cast and crew, plus Rand Hood and a whole bunch of special people. I see Richard. I've seen him on how many What's Neat shows, and we finally get to meet you, brother. This is the best hobby in the world, and we're going to have fun with this one tonight. So let's go, guys. The What's Neat This Week video podcast is supported by enthusiastic model railroaders just like you. Additional support is provided by Athern Trains. Check out all their new monthly announcements at athern.com. And by Bachman Trains. Now that's the way to run a railroad. Check out their website at bachmantrains.com. Further support is provided by the NCE Corporation, the power of DCC. Visit their website at ncedcc.com. And thank you for supporting the What's Neat This Week podcast. This is the What's Neat This Week, show number 67, recorded live from Denver, Colorado, and we're at the Rocky Mountain Train Show here, sponsored by the TCA. Is that right? That's right. And who is the TCA, Michelle? That is the Toy Train Collectors Association, and they do Lionel and O-Scale, and they've put on this show for many, many years. Absolutely fantastic. Tonight I've got with me Michelle Kempema on the show. I also have Rand Hood. Everybody knows Rand Hood? Very famous model railroader. And I've got Chris Palomares from Athern Train sitting here on the side. We've also got many manufacturers with us this evening. I've got Shane Wilson. Look at this. I've got the boys from Caboose, Kevin Rubel and Killian. And of course, from Intermountain Railroad, I've got Ron Eggstead tonight. And everybody's going to take the microphone and share with us the new products that they've got. Well, so, don't forget, we also got Rapido. Oh, yeah, they're here. Yeah. 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 Gentlemen. Hey guys. Dan Darnell. <laughs> it looks like you're holding something Santa Fe. Okay. Oh. They, got, they got some equipment. <laughs> Dan, bring your models. Put them up here on the table. Yeah. Bring them on up. We will judge them. Come on up, Dan. <laughs> put your models on the table, brother. It doesn't matter. You're going to sit here, so put them right here. <laughs> oh, I see what he's saying. <laughs> oh, yeah. In new news, and there's a lot of news around us today, the gentleman that bought that fine scale miniature George Sullios boxcar, we presented it to the museum last night yes. and on a Friday night open house, Michelle. How did, did that go? That was amazing. And I'm so thankful for that car. It is just such a treasure for the museum. So thank you, George Sullios, and thank you to whoever bought it. Who bought it was Ramon Selowite, is who bought it. I don't oh, know if I pronounced you, your Ramon. name right, but I tried to write it down. <laughs> and he also built a display for the model oh, where he's nice. got the model built into a wooden cabinet. Nice. And he has put George Selios' freight car behind it. It's covered with glass. Yeah. It's quite a presentation. Oh, I love it. It's something I that you it. and I would do, Rand, I if we were it. building something. Yeah. So how that you doing, brother? Touch. I'm doing good. You've got Karen here with us today, and you have been doing some okay. stuff for the hobby, haven't you? A little bit. Tell me, Rand, what have you been up to, and what are you doing now? Uh, still doing museum design, but still a lot of uh, uh, displays, utilizing railroad equipment and scale things, and everything I do is scale, and whether it be one to one or even down to uh, HO scale, uh, but still just active, active doing it, and just excited to see what's what's being shown here today at the show with all these manufacturers just what's in front of us is insane there's a lot of stuff on the table now you had shared some photographs of some of the work that you have done and also some of the work that karen has done can we talk about those pictures because i'll show oh, them on yeah. the screen as we talk about those yeah Let's check them out yeah karen karen got into the colorado and southern narrow gauge she just loves the size of that oh and, cool uh, and so she did this fictional line fictitious i guess i should say uh <laughs> down to New Mexico. It'd be, you know, the Rio Grande went down there mm -hmm. and connected, but she decided she was going to plot her own course. Um, and it took off and went through Ghost Valley 
uh, the Georgia O'Keeffe region and went on into Santa Fe. Wow. So this photograph that we're showing uh, now is her efforts when she was modeling that scene. And one of the things that I liked, uh, we always work scenery together, but this is all her own work. Wow. And what I like about it was she introduced me to starting to use gray within the palette. And I tell you what, when you look at the photograph here, um, you see that those gray tones are just help level everything and make it very real. The many shades of gray. The how how shades. often have we talked about that? <laughs> yes. And here's the other thing. They're not available as static grass. So you, where you get them is the guys that do flocking for geese, for the artificial, you know. Um, that's where we're finding them and we're mixing them in everything and it's working. Um, wow. But one of the things in that, in that photo, she invented doing the little yuccas. And the, uh, the next photo shows, I was working on a shot for Model Railroader and I got called away, had to go to some meeting. I came back, looked through the camera lens, and I'm like, well, what's different? And there was all these little yuccas in there. And she said, um, yeah, it needed something. I thought I'd put some landscape notes in it. Hmm. And so I was reading these little white flecks through there. And so that kind of became a signature, as Ken knows, right. the Columbines. For the Columbines that were so famous mm -hmm. in that one shot where the locomotive is coming around this corner. Yeah. What a beautiful shot. <laughs> Model Railroad Contest winner at, at one point. What year yeah. was that? Uh, probably 96 somewhere in there that might have been the year that it was first and second with doing Rollins pass and what not how about that uh, it was fun That's but fantastic. Um, the two of us working together we invent a lot of scenery techniques and things to do and we always just keep feeding off that even mm. today building scenes one on one to one how about really that? So, yeah wow it's fun stuff yeah, I've seen, just the, happy to I've be seen here. their one-to-one -one work, and it is fantastic. Really, yeah. really, yeah. And yeah. I, before I even knew who they were, we loved that museum, the wildlife experience. It's fabulous. Oh, that was so nice <laughs> when, when Michelle. Oh, I know, I know what you did. And the other thing, showing up at at um, the Colorado Model Railroad Museum was one of the fellows. Is I know you, and and the magazines that you had articles in, those are the ones that I wore out first. And That's I just exactly felt so at said. home because people knew and kind of understood the kind of the scenic aspect, which is yeah. our contribution. The one thing yeah. is a lot of people that watch a show, it seems like I've been in the hobby for 10 years or less. And so when I have you on a show, a lot of folks, we have to re-remind them who we, who we are. Well, I have the same issue, not issue, but situation when Dave Frowery was on. Mm -hmm. Dave frowery has been in the hobby for years. We all know who he is. But a lot of people were like, well, who is the gentleman of, you know, who is that guy? So it's really interesting that we are tapping into a lot of a newer demographic that's been in the hobby less time, which I think also is part of the fact that we're getting the youth in the industry. Yep. There was a lot of youth running around on the stage earlier, <laughs> so I know that we've got them. They're here They're at the here. show. I see them all around Somebody us. was trying to be mini Ken. It was like, what's new? What's new? <laughs> it's like, dude, it. dude. <laughs> you got to love it. How are we going to okay. do this, uh, Chris? How should I bring Ron and the other manufacturers in? What, what I'm going to go get them and that? give them my spot. I'm going to go get the guys. talk about something new from Atherton this week, or what's new and what's neat with Chris, besides you had a great there train ride down I here. I had a great train what? ride down. Actually, I was F59 PHI hunting. I was trying to find those Metra F59 PHI. Did you find them? from California out, out to uh, Chicago did not find them. <laughs> I was up in Chicago for oh. hours and I was just like Hawkeye looking around like they got to be here somewhere. And no luck. No oh, luck. Good unfortunately. Job. But uh, Austin it, is it, doing camera. Fun. You're amazing. I see Austin working. Look how hard he's working. Dude, this is Austin. the best stage set Austin's we've got. Amazing. We got we got to give that man a raise. Oh, yeah. yeah Austin, <laughs> give Austin a raise. <laughs> I see George Bogatuck walking into the room. You know another beautiful thing here is I can show you what we got going on because I've got Chris's camera here. And there's George, buddy. Hey, George, yeah. we love you, buddy. Thank you very much for that What's Neat segment that's going to run in the April video <laughs> yeah, on how to go. stall LED lighting yeah. into a train. Here's Austin Allard working camera. And all Thank the boys Karen. out there having fun running their train. So how about that? I'm Not exactly an overflow crowd on this side, but there are just acres and acres of table in two other rooms. So this mm -hmm. is a very, very large show. Hi. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Ken, I got to tell you that, you know, this morning... There was a flood of people that came in at 10 o'clock. I, I was telling Michelle was earlier yeah, this morning, it was like, packed. this feels like a lot more people than yeah. it did last year. And this so. show, for the first time, has a junior engineer program, and I guess it is just exploding. And they can't hardly keep up with it. There's so many kids going through that. It's the NMRA's Absolutely. junior engineer program. It's fabulous. So, Michelle, so. do you think the hobby's dying? Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Absolutely not. Well, I know, if, if, if the hobby was dying, we got to grade that on a curve with all the new ones coming in, right? <laughs> there, this is the best hobby in the world. There's, uh, there we go. there's nothing like this one. Let's do a switch. Yep, let's, get so let's get Ron Engstead in here, and we'll just work all the way across. So from Inner Mountain, we've got Ron Engstead. And Ron, here's a microphone for you, brother. Great. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. Um, brother, we did an interview in the last What's Neat video that ran at Model Road Hobbies Magazine. I think it's running currently right now. Yeah, it is. It is, is that it, the March issue? Yeah, where it, we did it was an interview awesome. out there at your beautiful factory. What a clean, neat place. A lot of neat machinery. It can't be a boring job, can it? Oh, thank you. No, it's, it's very exciting. It's always something different, and it's tons of great model railroad equipment that we're working on all the time. So it's, it's awesome. fun. And it's now fun. things are in the works, and things are working out, and it sounds like... Um, what containers are hitting what month yeah well uh, right now we have just uh, been notified oh, yeah. that our first shipment is on the way oh, wow. and we did a HO scale 4650 Look at that. production run with uh, oh, a bunch of different roads available oh, both of these um, yep those are two of the of the paint nice. schemes we're getting back yes. they're doing good work yeah looking and, good uh, yeah yes and they look fantastic this is uh, our new supply chain and uh, nice. they are on the water and on the way to us the other thing we've got, uh, we, we ran a little ad in Cowcatcher I Magazine. I like the Cowcatcher. I this met is, Tim this week. Oh, yeah. Tim, Tim works the Cowcatcher Magazine. Yeah, Tim magazine. Blackwell. He's a great guy. Yes. But this is a, cool. we the do a full, uh, full product line of uh, HO, N scale, and O scale precision brass wheels. And we've gotten some production runs back uh, on those as well. So we're filling orders. we got a we got our full product line back in business with that one as well. Super good. So, That's a nice ad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, some other... Uh, other product, other product that we've got coming back is N scale and HO scale, uh, two bay and three bay ACF covered hoppers. Excellent. So those will be coming down in some refrigerator cars and a run of N scale cylindrical hoppers as well. Very so, good. Yeah, the colorful Canadian paint schemes. You know, I love those. Those yeah. are so beautiful. Oh, yeah. And that was yeah. a very popular seller when you came out with those. You bet. Hey, Chris, check out the ad on the back of that magazine. Hey, is, is that, that a Ken Patterson photo right That's here? A George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> That's a you beautiful bet. locomotive. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I am coming back out soon. I guess you're going to be at the NMRA National. Set up your booth. Everything is of all course. speed ahead. Absolutely. The and state of you're the always, is good. You're always welcome. You've got an open invitation to come and visit us in Colorado. And uh, we always try to plan a big snow storm when uh, Ken Patterson's in town, it's too. It's awesome. It's so beautiful today. <laughs> Thank you for that four inches this morning. We loved it. <laughs> we loved it a lot. <laughs> you bet. So rock and roll, Ron Angst. All right. Dad. It's a pleasure to so see much, you brother. again. You bet. Let's Thanks bring a lot. Shane Wilson in next. All right. Shane's Shane on the way. Shane Wilson. Bring Here you go. Shane Wilson. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate it, right? com next. <laughs> Shane, how are you today? We're doing awesome, Ken. Thanks for having us. You're Appreciate it very much. You're getting an applaud out there. That's awesome. They're clapping. I paid They them. love you, Shane, and they love your endurance and what you have done. In the last X amount of years since I watched you start this company, you have just knocked it out of the park, buddy. Thank you for what you've done for all of us modelers. Well, Ken, I, I can't take all the credit. I mean, i got to give that credit to the team. You know, we have an awesome group of folks. We've been really blessed to bring a, together a crew that's got tremendous talent. And uh, so i got to give them a lot of credit and our partners in China as well. They're the ones that get, bring the awesome models. I just get to sell and market them. Yeah, but I met Brendan last night, your magnificent son. Don't he make his head swell. cool, man. <laughs> he's just like Stephen Priest's boy, Joel. He's 18. He's a magnificent yes. modeler. He showed some of his models to me last night that I'm showing to you right now, where he built some fire equipment that he wanted to share with the Colorado Model Railroad Museum last night in their open house. And so we set them up on the fire yep. scene, and it just came out really neat to see his equipment looking right there, doing its job. And he was thrilled. He, oh, you he made took his, his own pictures. The guy's got energy just like you. Yeah, he made his show. I mean, he's he was so excited last night to actually He's have it. Be proud. Oh yeah. I mean, uh. I don't tell him that because you know I. But yeah, he's, he's a, a great really kid. Nice I, it's great to be able to bring him to a show like this. Yeah. You know, we started bringing him to shows probably when he was about 13. Even when we were back in the Atherton days, yeah. uh, he got to do a few shows. So it's been fun to watch him grow up and uh, and and really become a part of the Scale Trains family and and be a, a great piece, you know. And plus, he mows the yard at the office, so we got to keep him around. He mows the yard. I love you. Thank you for introducing yourself to me last night, Brendan. I look forward to seeing what other projects you do. And you plus, you know yard. what? you got a cool dad, brother. You'll learn a lot from this guy, right? Yeah, you got a cool dad, brother. 
Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> now, you've also brought a tunnel motor here today with you. Is that is that your tunnel motor? Yeah. yeah. Tell us, is that the one you announced in Kansas City, or is this something new and improved? So this is the one we announced in Kansas City, but, of course, we're in Rio Grande country, so yeah. we brought uh, a right sample along with us. This is the first tunnel motor that you can actually see all the way through, and there's nothing inside in the, in the yeah. radiator I grills. I see Rand over here yeah, drooling. Yeah, you see him? Do you see him getting antsy? Yeah. Hey, Shane, I don't think they'll let you You're in this town unless back, you bring a Rio Grande tunnel motor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know it's pretty darn cool. And the great thing is they'll be they're rolling off the boat uh, this week, so we'll see them in about ten days or so available yeah. for Isn't sale. Isn't it amazing, Rand? The I mean, oh. when you were doing all your magnificent photography, I want to say twenty-two to twenty-four years ago, yeah. we didn't have this type of models. I mean, CAD no. and computer technology hadn't kicked in yet. This what I'm seeing now would represent about a month's worth of work on the on the old 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 Athern blue block box shell so everything i'm seeing in here and then just the skill time it's just it's just it's amazing and yeah i'm signed up for those too so you know know, the cool thing is i want to see a high five when you look at uh, (laughs) (laughs) when you look at the model of course you got on the grands you've got uh, operating class lights through red white green and off the number boards (laughs) thank you this is working out perfect so we've got some really nice cars from you this week and you're setting up at the nmra national that's your next uh, sh- big show, I would next say. Next big show, yeah. The next big well, show. actually, we've got InScale Convention coming up in June and a couple of other shows. But, yeah, Nationals will be the next really major show. Now, I went to Kansas City, and I shot Stephen Priest's layout out there and Cynthia and Joel. Right. Magnificent people. And I understand you might be bringing them on board to come help you sell trains. Yeah, we're very excited. Stephen actually starts a week from Monday. He's moving to Tennessee. Congratulations. And, uh, you know, for me, marketing is my passion. It's my love. But uh, there's a company to run. And there's new projects and new opportunities, and, and to be able to really take advantage of those, we've got to get somebody on board that can Steve's, carry that torch. Steve's rep- rep- his reputation precedes itself, yep, and I can tell you he is one of the most powerful tools in your toolbox. He's the kind of thing where you point and you shoot, and he gets it done. That's right. And, and that's a good thing. That's what we're excited about is having someone, you know, we've got all these ideas, but uh, there's just not enough time to execute them, and having someone dedicated to be able to do that that's is really going to awesome. take us to that next level. Do I dare bring in Kevin Rubin, Rubel and Killian Rubel and let them talk about the store? Absolutely. We? Yeah. Hey, Killian and Kevin, guys. Thank you guys very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. Yeah. Thank you. Now we've got Killian Rubel and Kevin Rubel from Caboose in Lakewood, Colorado, our favorite train store down there that is bigger than anything in St. Louis. I can <laughs> tell you. Kevin and Killian, guys, you're on the show many times before. You sponsor the What's Neat show at Model Railroad Hobbyist Magazine. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that. We got to spend some time with our cameraman, Austin Allard, in your store yesterday, and he was very impressed his first time to be there. Nice. Guys, tell us what's coming up this year. You got a new caboose and a lot of new exciting things coming up. We do. um, So... We're kind of doing a little bit of change of pace on things. We're, we've got a lot going with our website. We've got a lot going with the brick and mortar, but we don't want to be just a place to come in. What can I sell you today? It's how can we help you? What do you need? What do you want to learn about? You know, let's, let's, let's get you the information. And then if you want to buy something, we'll help you with the product in the, in the future, whether we have it in stock or we need to order it in. Um, and it's a perfect example why we just brought a scale representation from Z to G, and we have a learner layout to teach the kids how to use the basics of DCC. I'm not getting into braking or load compensation. It is forwards and backwards, faster, slower, toot the horn, and run the bell, drag the cow, um, <laughs> and just have some fun with it because we don't want to overcomplicate it. The future of this hobby is with the younger generation. Right. We had, right. I mean, um, Connor came through. Connor's a regular on Sundays at the store. And he came through, and he was running my booth when I was still setting up. The kid knows so much about DCC, and it was relatable to other kids, and it's great to see them bringing each other in the hobby. And that's what we love about this show, because they're bringing the younger generation. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of weird, because we you have guys are seeing gap, it firsthand right yeah, there in the store. It's fantastic. And, and, and they're discovering it through the internet. I see a lot of that. They're not mm-hmm. looking at paper magazines. I'm really seeing that. It's it's this in their tablets, right. their cell phones. It's, right. it's those gadgets my kids play with. Right. That's the way you get inside their imagination. And that's what we are all trying to always do. Yes. yes. Right? Yes. So, Kevin, what do you got going on? Tell us, you're, you you were running around with uh, the museum last night up in Greeley, and I saw yeah, you had that was fun. Diesel with you. Yeah, D-Dog Diesel's was there. hanging out, D-Dog. Yeah. 
And I think the museum, I wish Michelle was back here, but they were having a really nice open house it showing the great manufacturers kind yeah. of what was going on. Yeah. Really shows off a, uh, a superb layout. That's an amazing layout and, um, um, and, and fun, to, fun to see, fun to watch operate. I like how fun complete that layout is, Kevin. That, that layout is like <laughs> very few layouts out there in the hobby are that complete as that yeah, layout. Yeah, that's a, really. that's a good detail. point, Chris, because what I really enjoy about that layout, it's huge. It's a massive layout. And the level of detail is pretty amazing. There's everywhere you go, there's a little vignette. Yes. You know, little lover's leap vignette yes. and, and fish in <laughs> the river so cool. and stuff like that. That's, that's pretty awesome. It was also awesome that the computer was like running the whole show and we were just like standing around watching. I'm like, hey, I want to run a train, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody didn't think that, right? Watching that, the, the challenger sit there, and it's like, come on, we just got to run that. It's just sitting there by itself. It already took the picture. Let's run the damn train. But, you know, <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> you know, Ken. Am I um, playing too much here, guys? We're supposed to be producing a show. <laughs> hey, Michelle. Good open house last night, Michelle. <laughs> you know, Ken, Great Killian, green chili, Killian too. That was awesome. Here that, um, <laughs> Killian teed up something here that, uh, that we all at the table – and, and, and Michelle and all of us share, and that is, it, it happens to be our purpose as an organization. I mean, yeah, we're in the business to, to sell trains, but um, more than that, our overall purpose is to make a difference in people's lives by supporting their passion for trains. And I think we're all here to do that. And I think to the greatest extent that we can support each other, and I, I know occasionally we'll, we'll get some trolls that want to take some shots at people and, and their modeling or the manufacturers and the job they've done on this stuff, I'd rather see us supporting each other and growing, growing their, our mutual enjoyment of trains. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I got a perfect example for you right here. Um, actually, the, this gentleman, the veteran hat, Kevin, he is one of our favorite customers. He came in a while ago. Yeah, see, good man right here. Um, he wasn't sure what scale to start with, he, what he wanted to kind of get back into it. And right. we kind of talked to him about all the options. and. He settled on in scale due to uh, space constraints and wanting to run a little bit more for what he had. Um, so we actually have him hooked up and we've got one of our uh, vendors who makes custom in scale layouts to make him a specific one catered exactly to his style. We found the exact cars that he's wanted and we've given him the instruction to say, this is what we're gonna start you with on DC and it'll be an easy transition over to DCC and he is full bore into it and he's loving it. So that's, that's the nice thing, it doesn't matter your age range, there's you're never too young to start. You know, right, we've absolutely. had plenty of people to do that, and it's 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 great seeing people come in here to, who are just interested, and people coming their kids in, and you know, the number one question from a parents is, how do you get my kid off my smartphone right now? Dude, I know. Number one, I wish I could get my son into it, but yeah. it's a, and it, but you can't force him. Right. You just got to show him the best you can, and maybe someday like after he moves out of the house, you don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's, awesome. That's the beauty of this hobby. So many people get into it after school, or they pick it up later in life. Oh, yeah. Or uh, Joshua Barton from Sugar Fire. His story was he was into airplanes, and he would fly them. And one day, it didn't work out so well. And so he wanted to find a little safer hobby where the investment wouldn't be lost in one incident, which you can do that. Yeah. And it's, I mean, true. you know, it's awesome. It's very true. Let's do this. We've got the gentleman from Rapido, and I've got George Yo. Bogatok. Is there a way, Chris, can we switch out? Can we, yeah. George, sit over where Chris is. And guys, come on in here from Rapido. And All right, we'll hand it off. Killian, Kevin, thank you. Thanks again, thank you, Ken. Bye. This is making good time, too. Okay, Hello. so with me Hello. I've got, I know I've had you on the show before, Dan. You've been on the show when I've been at the Prototype Modelers Meet in St. Louis, and you're coming back again. My English brother isn't here today. I know. Gareth? Yes, he's in Japan Gareth's right not now. here, but I've yeah. also got Jordan Smith. Yep. Nice and to meet you. on the other side of me over here, I've got our favorite goalie, George. George Bogatuck <laughs> from Soundtracks in this corner, sitting yes. next to our brand hood, of course. You and, know, George, you've been busy doing a lot of stuff, too. You just got us a video for What's Neat on how to install LED lights in a really cool ES44, I think it yes. was. Yes. And I actually Thank have you. a – you have to come over and see at the table. I actually added to that. I added an SD75M. And we put all the step lights and the walkway courtesy lights and the number boards and the truck lights. And man, I'm telling you, I'm having so much fun putting all the lights. That's absolutely fantastic. So, but I do have to say something really quickly here, though. I have never met Rand Hood 
face to face before. He's amazing. And I've always been following your work in the magazines for years, and Thank you've you. actually inspired a lot of things that I've learned over the years. I uh, love you, Rand. And, and, and so, this is why Karen's not sitting up so here. She's this is shot. this is why I enjoy doing stuff like this. Is because I get to meet some of the greatest people that I've in grown up reading about and talking to. Thank I mean, you. like Ken, for example. I've seen uh, his uh, photographs uh, for uh, years. Uh, I've watched your articles. He got me started. And, so. and now, I, now I get to be part of this wonderful industry and be able to do all this fun stuff. I, I'm having a blast. And I, I want mean, Karen, I haven't worked Karen a day to give me a wave. Karen, Hi, Karen. <laughs> Karen Hood, and you will see some of her work coming out because she's also a model router oh, and wow. quite good at what you do. Nice. Yay. That is awesome. <laughs> I know. How cool is that? Well, well, thank you for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, George, thank you. did you I'm make excited. anything new? Did you guys announce Tsunami 5, 6, or 8, or 10? Anything new <laughs> on the market well, today? Well, let's, let's tap the brakes here a little bit. We, we, got a, we got some other things we can always do ahead of time, before 7 and 8. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, um, no, we've actually, we haven't really had to do much to it. That's one of the benefits of the Tsunami 2 is there's so many things that we were thought out methodically to uh, make sure that we included all of the features that not just us as modelers or, or anybody else wants but also things like the manufacturers like Athern Chris who was here has a lot of things that he wants in the models and we wanted to make sure that the decoders were able to accommodate pretty much anything they can come up with and so right now other than adding you know a few more sounds here and there I'm not really sure what else there is to add to it really That's I mean awesome. we always have ideas of course but but I mean, it does so much, and that's one of the wonderful things. I'm having so much fun with it. I mean, that's why those lights turn out so well, is I can adjust the brilliance of the lights yeah. by making CV adjustments rather than having to play and fool with the resistors and look at it and say, oh, nope, it's still too bright. Okay, let's put a new resistor in it. And nope, still too bright. Let's put another resistor. And, and I can do that by making a couple of CV adjustments or, or if somebody's using Decoder Pro or something like that, they can do it right there on their computer and do it on the fly. And so it's, it's, it's really so much fun. And then, the, the, you know, when it comes to operation, I love operation. I mean, there's so much the real world does with, uh, you know, with trains that if you add all that operation into your, into your locomotive, it slows our operation down. I mean, your layout's gorgeous. It's a big, nice basement size layout. I've only got 20 foot. Right. And, and my operation takes, an, uh, you know, 30, 45 minutes to run a turn right. because we're stopping and we're having the guy get out of the locomotive and go down and throw the switch and then check and do the hand signals and come through. And then you come through and then he's got to throw it back and then yeah. you get all back on the engine and go to the next turnout. That's and with awesome. all the sounds and everything, man, it's so much fun. I want to go run train. See you guys. I know. Are you yeah. excited about me? Let's go. This is great. You're invited. I Anytime you want to come down together. to Durango, this is great. Yeah. seriously, give us a call, and I'll, I'll set you up. We'll Karen, show you a factory going. tour. I'm glad nice. you guys are getting along. This is awesome. I, I felt the same way when Michelle and Michelle got along on the last show, and they were talking about their camaraderie. I did catch what up on that one. What a good time they had. I that love it. Show. Kumbaya. When things that work, was, it's great. That was a great show. I want to go to Dan Darnell, right? And And you guys, George, I want you guys to tell me... I've already asked you about your passion for trains, but tell us about these awesome models that are on the table. Well, these are the B36-7s. Don't forget your microphone. Don't forget my these microphone. B36-7s, and I'll run B-roll of these. In yeah. fact, I have shot these. Yeah, you saw them. Now, you, I shot video of these off of your YouTube side of them running, I think, on last week's show as well. Oh, cool. Because they just, I know Santa Fe. Yeah. And when you guys did this, yeah, this I mean, I good. used to own a, a brass set like that, yeah. and you've nailed it that cluster of instrumentation and equipment on top of the hood is truly the characteristic of that locomotive. Right. Yep. And you captured it. Well, that's all yep, Gareth Bayer's work. Yep. And, uh, I love him. Yes, yeah. we love him. Yeah. My, and, my uh, boy from the home country over there in England. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, tell me, what's your part in this magic? Uh, oh, what I do? I'm a little of everything. I'm in the warehouse. I'm answering the phone i'm answering emails you of, answer when i call don't you uh yeah. sometimes i'm always asking well, for we've jason got, well, we've got we've got a new uh we've got Roslyn now okay we just hired a receptionist we got so busy we decided we need someone answering the phones tell me how much time, fun it so. is working for jason he's got to be a riot it's to a work for because his oh, yeah. his yep. his character yeah. that he presents to us on the internet I mean, it's almost that, it's absolutely. almost yeah, exactly. diagnosable, yeah. Yeah, but, but it's so funny. You, you gotta love him. Yeah. That, Is he like that all the time? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is there an off switch? No. 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 Awesome. We've looked for it. We can't find it. So we know where it is. We'll turn it off. I know yeah, other yeah. people out here in Colorado that are the same way. It's awesome. <laughs> 
We're talking about how he doesn't have an off switch. We're talking about Jason Schron. Yeah. Oh, no, he doesn't have an off switch. I mean, he's an amazing character, wouldn't you say? Uh, he's he's a great guy. I, I think the world of him. And he's done yep. some great work with Rapido and stuff. Yep. As a matter of fact, I'm actually a little frustrated because you guys announced these SW1200s. Uh, yeah. And I've yep. got two of them on my workbench right now. So uh, Sound or non-sound? <laughs> I'm going to order the non-sound, and I will put a uh, Tsunami 2 in it. <laughs> But uh, nice play. <laughs> oh, God. Almost got you. So let me say that we are coming probably close to an end on this. I want to do one more screen roll here of what's going on in the room. I see Chris Palomares and there's Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Austin Allard, thank you very much for running yeah, thank camera. You. You're a lot more steady than I am this evening. <laughs> And as you can see, there are a lot of folks in here. And again, this show is divided up into multiple rooms, and we are in one very large room off to the side here. Thank you for providing the space for us to do this show yes. here. The yeah. Rocky Mountain Train Show, and I believe that was John yep. that helped us with all of the setup. Right, Michelle? And they also created some branding for us behind the stage here, Michelle. We're adding someone to the show real quick. Okay. On the fly. This is Luke. Hey, Luke. Hey, How are you? Hey, brother. How are you? Welcome to the What's Neat show. This is your show. Thank you. How's it going? You're sitting next to Rand Hood. Yeah. Yeah, so. I got to put your name at the bottom of the screen, too. Yeah, so I know. I'll right. spell it correctly, but tell me about your passion for trains. Luke. Okay, so I started when I was six years old, had my first, uh, mom and dad bought me my first uh, little tiny train set, little nice. HO Bachman's nice. uh, scale track. And from that, it just has kind of revolved and revolved and revolved. And so are you, are you spending lots of money at the show here today? Are you buying stuff? Yeah, I've spent already about $500 and oh. spent about, about 1000 last week. Did you buy some Rapido stuff? <laughs> it's all on reserve. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it's awesome. It's on back order. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So um, tell us what else is it that you model? What scale? And tell us about okay, your layout so, a little bit. Okay, so I do uh, HO scale, and I'm actually at the Colorado Mall Railroad Museum. So are you a volunteer at the museum? Yes, I am a volunteer. How volu wonderful is that? that is yes. So, thank you. Yes, and so I do a lot of our extreme trains. I try to participate in every, uh, every extreme trains that they have. What's your favorite part of that layout? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think my favorite part of it is when you're climbing the, what is it, 2.2, 2.3% grade. Isn't that cool? Yes. You're thinking about extreme trains. I watched you guys watching those, mm -hmm. and they do make it, but you guys are watching them close <laughs> because you've got yeah. coupler slack and you've got tension at the same time on that layout. Yes. <laughs> so that's absolutely amazing. Wow. Dude, man, thank you for coming up here and yeah. hanging out with us today. Yeah, you're welcome. This is great. I love Denver. It's such a beautiful city, Rand. You're so oh. lucky. Mm -hmm. You and Karen live in a beautiful place. Yeah, just waiting for the snow and uh, and waiting for yeah. ski trains coming, I hear, yeah, thanks to the Rapido gang. And, yep. And uh, if I feel a little blue, I watch Jason on your videos, and I just start <laughs> laughing and having fun. I got to tell you, oh, yeah. it's just fun to watch the progress and see what happens in, in your announcements. Yep. Thanks, guys. I had, some our day. I had some additional new news that I did want to talk about. Um, our wonderful friend James Wright has got some new freight cars that he shows off on his website and all of that. Plus, I've also followed up on a lot of the What's Neat this week. Uh, Facebook content that we've been getting. Thank you so much for sharing that. Michelle, myself, we're all keeping track of that the best we can. I know Joshua looks at it. Um, there's a lot there. And next week, we're going to cover all of that. But at this point, we are coming to a close on this one. Uh, everybody, come on up behind us here, and let's tell everybody about what a great hobby this is and that we're going to pick some layouts around here in the room and get to go run some trains. Gentlemen from Rapido, thank you so much for being with us here this evening. Brand Hood, I love you, brother. Love you too, is this man. the best hobby in the world it or is. what? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This is the What's Neat This Week show, number 67, Thanks, coming to you from beautiful Denver, Appreciate Colorado. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go run some trains. Right. Hey! Whoa. <laughs>